Right, hello everybody and welcome to the tie of the round. Maybe the tie of the tournament. The, you know, um, even even though this is just the first round, uh, Ducky has a 76.9% win rate in Champs Ladder. Knee Proxy has a 73.9% win rate in Champs Ladder. There's only 13 people in the tournament with a win rate of over 70% in Champs Ladder. So this is... This is two of the absolute best in the first round here. Um, unbelievable that this was, you know, horribly unlucky for both of them having to play each other. Um, knee Proxy qualified via the Ruble Russian League. There were three spots and he qualified through there. And Ducky qualified by uh, getting in the top four champs ladder in on PC. Um, and, you know, Ducky's Mr. Champs Ladder really in terms of winning. He's won champs ladder three times on PC. And he's unbelievable. Um, so, you know, it's anyone's game. To be fair, it's a classic matchup: undead versus undead versus wood elves. is a classic tabletop matchup. Um, he's got a chasm the first block. <laughs> Ducky's got an apple now. Is he going to use it aggressively? No, he's not. He's he's saving it for a positional, or if he takes multiple casualties, that makes sense. Um, now the the bad part about this is Knee Proxy has taken guard away from his carrier to facilitate this. This may be the you know it, it, it's funny Wood Elves because you've got to choose when to go for the ball. This might be the best chance he gets to go for the ball, but you don't really want to go for the ball on turn one, do you? So it's, it's it could be a little bit interesting. This is number five versus number twelve in all time champs ladder win rate. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, isn't it, BZL? That is impressive. So, um, yeah, they'll never be console cost with PC. You know? No, no, unfortunately, it's just not going to happen because of the money stuff. Well, this is a little bit. Uh, oh no, it's not. I thought he did. You thought he chose to push there. Obviously, he's going to keep him away from the, his own player here. Stuck doing a one dice there. Well, that zombie, isn't he? And uh, yeah, this is ooh, well. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to say anything that somebody might not have spotted. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try to not give anything away like I'm not going to say what I'm thinking tactically because I don't want to maybe spoil this game so I'll just try to react to what's happening rather than uh, predict anything but uh, very interesting isn't it this is this is this was a huge commitment here and knee proxy has split his team against wood elves That's He's going to be playing catch up for the rest of the half despite getting the cars, I think. Ah, oh, thanks, Infrater Augustus. <laughs> Okay, well, there was a both down there, wasn't there? And uh, both people didn't get arm broke. But this is this is huge, isn't it? If if Ducky wants to apply pressure, um, boy, has he got the opportunity to do it. Wow. He's, and it's funny enough because uh, he was in. He's been in chat, you know, Ducky. He's 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 in chat quite a lot. He said his plan was to play super conservatively, and go for a one nil grind. Well. I think he's going to have to alter that strategy, isn't he? <laughs> With this, this opportunity he's being granted here to split the team in half. <laughs> Hit tackle and chain guard. No, I don't know. I think I, I, there's, there's just multiple ways. You can tree can tree can go here. Tree could blitz to type the tackle around the guard, or he could blitz through the middle, or he could blitz the mummy. There's just there's just so many things you can do. Blitz the guard into the tree. He's he's got lots of options. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil it for anyone. <laughs> um, it will probably be tomorrow ma morning, Yarlipon. What I'm gonna have to do is, I mean, you can watch the vod of it if you missed it. But what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to do the replay of it. And then upload that to you. So I'll do the replay of my match tomorrow morning. And then upload that to YouTube. And then, you know, upload this one and stuff. So, 
Yeah, two one. I I got a really lucky riot, um, and an overall. I was I had I had the better dice overall. Thanks, von Steinberg. I definitely had the better dice overall, but uh, the first half was really scary. I think I didn't have the better dice in the first half until I got the riot, <laughs> and then the riot, uh, the riot. You know, made things. Ooh, a turn one route. <laughs> Eight dirty months of being Jim Tastic and look like two years of watching. Congrats on the win, and let's hope Blood Bowl is coming home, Jimmy. Wow, well, she said Blood Bowl, not Blood Bowl. It was a little bit Blood Bowl but it was mostly Blood Bowl. Thanks very much, Unseen Walker. Thanks for staying fantastic. Yeah, yeah. The tackle being free for the undead is a little bit worrying, but he hasn't. He doesn't want to blitz a tackle. Oh no, he does want to blitz a tackle. Um, but he can blitz with three dice, mighty blow anyway. So it's not so bad. But I think I don't know. I'm not sure. Ducky's done enough here. This looks like he can. He can kind of escape. Um, I would have maybe his light have gone a bit harder over here to try and cut him off totally. But look, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> once again, I'm not saying Ducky's wrong. <laughs> Nobody get the wrong idea about anything. Um, no, I think it was okay. I think it was okay activating the, you know, maybe he wanted to tie up the tr the mummy or something. Uh, tying up the guard wasn't so good, I don't think. If he could have, if he'd been... I wouldn't have activated him if he had like a prone guard and a prone tackler on him, or a standing tackler and a prone guard. Like if he had two players on him, then yeah, don't activate him. But when he's only got one, I think it was worth the activation. I think so, but maybe not. Maybe that. Maybe he shouldn't have activated him. So he did get the knockdown by blitzing with tackle. Uh, I think I would have been greedy and blitz with mighty blow, just you know, just on the off chance. Uh, it would have let him build a stronger cage probably as well than, than setting up to three dice. But yeah, not not the the thing with Ducky with Ducky not basically screening across the whole pitch like he could have done. Um, he's given himself the option to then go back and play more more uh, conservatively, hasn't he? So whereas if he'd gone full bore at it. He maybe he'd have been committed to like in in an Inarian style half, and he's definitely not committed to an Inarian style half now. He can just simply go back in the banks and uh, and kind of play safe again. He might foul. It's only a catcher, but he's got a reserve. Might as well. Oh. <laughs> It's a badly hurt. Yeah, I, I thought I thought Ducky would 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 use the apple there on a badly hurt position or a perfect result, perfect opportunity to use your apple. Really, you know, um, he's already taken one Kaz, so it, it you know he doesn't want you know he, he wants to use it on the next Kaz anyway. Really, and it was a badly hurt, and it was a positional, so it was a great it was a great person to get to use your apple on. Obviously, he's not happy about taking two cars and using his apple on turn two, but at least it was a good it was a good apple to use, if you know what I mean. Uh, that was a ducky foul, wasn't it? Almost uh, a li little bit risky because he has only got twelve players. I would have liked that foul a lot more with Sage's team with fourteen players, or if you had three ghouls and you had thirteen players. But you know the 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 tree has rooted, hasn't he? So he's unlikely to get many mighty blow hits this half. If knee proxy grinds him down to turn eight, so yeah, I think he was going to have to use the apple there. Even if it was a lineman miss next game, he might have had to use the apple. You know, or he would have had to think about using the apple if it was a lineman miss next game. I don't think he would have used the the uh, apple if it was a lineman miss next game. So I think he was quite lucky that it was <laughs> that, that it was a that it was a catcher badly hurt. You know. You did. It was it was a huge foul, a five assist foul, um, and he he has the catcher badly hurt the catcher, so Ducky uphold it, and he got sent off. So yeah, kind of a decent trade for the drive. 
uh, especially as, as Ducky's kind of down to eight now. But, um, yeah, interesting. Was up, hello, Rex76. The tree rooted on turn turn one, yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. yeah. The, the tree rooted made it a much better foul, didn't it? Yeah, sure it did. The only problem is now he can't really foul against a dancer if he gets the chance. I mean, he can, but the foul against the dancer is a lot worse, isn't he? See, there you go, Ducky's just gone into the, the banks of two, like, you know, the banks of two. Elf screen, whatever you want to call it, and now you know it is. He's going to have to work hard. Knee proxy is going to have to work hard to get down the pitch here for sure. But he does have white mummies that he can stick in, doesn't he? He does have mummies that he can stick in. One's got guard, which is which is good. Um, but he's got to work his way down the pitch, and he's got to keep the ball safe. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy for him to get forward here. So I can see why that that was Ducky's strategy that he was going to go for. So I can see why he didn't fully commit to the uh, splitting the team in half. And it, it, imagine if he had fully committed to it after and taken two cards. It, this would have really snowballed into like in Arian's game versus Pupok. I'm sure it would have snowballed horribly if he if he'd gone all connected and you know really tried to push for the turnover. So I quite on the one hand it's good that he didn't overcommit to it, but on the other hand, had he overcommitted, maybe it would, maybe it would have paid off. You don't know, do you? Yeah, it yeah it does it does it does suit the coach yeah it's 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 just that you know it, it's it's less tempting when it gets sent off and I mean obviously you know he was kind of unlucky to get sent off he could have easily made the foul got the cards and not get sent off um so you know I I just I just I just personally don't like fouling because I don't like the variance aspect of it but um, it certainly it certainly wasn't a categorically bad foul was it. You can't advance, but you know it is only turn three, and it's it's not just about advancing this turn. It's about it's about uh, working it forward, isn't it? He's, he's got to work it forward. He's he's got he's got five turns left, so basically four turns to work it into a good scoring chance. So he, he has got to. It's not just about that one turn, but you know this is two dodges away with dodge and then another screen. So he really didn't get much going there. Ducky can get in for a one dice on the ball, can't he? Very easily. He's not going to. But the option's there. Those are fast, but the problem is getting forward whilst protecting the ball, isn't it? It's uh, versus Ducky. <laughs> With wood elves, so you know th this this tree is still being an excellent uh, an excellent kind of like hinge, isn't he, or pivot or whatever, or bracket or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. You know he's he's in a good spot to be rooted. Not like mine, who was over the wrong side of the pitch completely. He's in a good spot to be rooted. Um, knee proxy should want to work it back to the middle. I feel, and then he can choose which way to go. But it, no matter which way he goes, the, the tree's going to be stopping him, isn't it? Anchor here. Whatever you want to call it, it's in a good fucking spot to be rooted. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is the thing. Dougie's just going to two plus away. And make it hard for him to advance. That that was always Ducky's plan. What he's got to do is kind of base up the ones that don't have dodge, hasn't he? And he's only got one tackle. Gets the power with mighty blow. I, I, I like just going for the three dice straight up with mighty blow. I think that's a. I would have done it the the other turn when he blitzed with tackle. I, I don't hate that at all. So you can get tackle on. Only, you only get tackle on one player with dodge. 
Maybe he should, but then he might get hit by him. So you know, it, it is it is tough to advance against against a good coach with Woodies. Yeah, if he can get a bit past the tree, he he, he really does want uh, maybe his forces way past the tree, doesn't he? That's. Uh, Ducky had these guys to stop the switch to the middle, but maybe he doesn't want to go to the middle because he's he's been and now he's able to get this guy around, isn't he? And this guy around, then he can just keep pushing forward. <laughs> Glorious rope shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and say no, I don't like that. I would have, I would have pushed forward with these guys. Both of these I would have pushed forward with. Um, it's what the dwarves did against me. Kind of trapped my players uh, to make it hard for everyone to dodge away and everything. I think that's what he wants to do. I'd have really liked to have seen them behind. Um, but the problem is, Ducky's always got the leap strip, hasn't he? And it's never a bad option. It's coming norm. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, he's obviously he's a player down still on the drive. But yeah, a Kaz and a KO stuff. Oh, GFI. So he GFI'd with a mummy rather than just sticking the... See, I would, I would have just stuck the uh, stuck the zombie there and then the mummy there, but fair enough. And he's still got two pluses out, hasn't he, with, with not having anything else over there. He looks like he's going for the leap strip, doesn't it, with that, with that manoeuvre. Straight into it. Makes the leap, gets the strip. Three tackle zones. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, well, Ducky did go for the leap. It was the worst possible scatter, wasn't it? There is the potential for a surf dancer as well, maybe. That was that was a really bad scatter for for Ducky. Um, it could have gone a lot better than that. That was probably the worst possible space, wasn't it? Apart from it, like bouncing back to the guy who already had it. That was probably the worst, the worst possible scatter. Ko. I don't think he'd have rerolled that, even if he had the third reroll. That's one of the situations where maybe if you had the three reroll, if you had the free reroll, obviously you, you don't know that you would have been killed if you didn't. But like you know, sometimes having the reroll available would would lead to different things. This this does look like it could be served, doesn't it? This really looks surfing territory for uh, for this poor bass. Oh, he didn't follow. Mine got. Wow! He didn't follow! Okay, he powered him, but... He didn't roll a push. I think the best way to do it, though, was by... was by following, but it's okay. I think he might be making... I think he might be making a foul now, mightn't he? <laughs> I think he may be making a foul. I would have tried to surf the dancer, yeah, for sure. Oh, hello, Wenteros. Congratulations. I actually, I actually meant to predict you winning, but because I forgot Chelsea's all of us was a console coach. But congratulations. Uh. Nah, yeah, he was always going to get powered, though, wasn't he? There was so many, there were, there was so many potential hits on him. Um, he was always going to get powered or surfed. We're, we're basically, the two options for that war dancer were getting powered or surfed, um, without without recovering the ball and just winning. Oof. Um, I predicted Ornan to beat Chab Ksu, um, just because I, you know he's rowdy, he's got a very rowdy team, 
and Chavis doesn't have a tree, so I think he's a bit more susceptible to humans than a Wood Elf team normally would be. Which, you know, wow, if he'd had Dirty Player, he'd have cast the Dancer there. Imagine if he'd taken Dirty Player as one of his four skills. Um, yeah, I think humans would rather play against Wood Elves without a tree than Wood Elves with a tree. So I think his non-tree is worse against Ornan, but better against me if he beats Ornan. Which he could still be Ornan at anyway, you know. But, um... Yeah, that's that's going downhill for Ducky there, but yeah. He's running out of players to be able to screen. Um, he's really running out of players now, isn't he? Five players off the pitch. Uh, six players off the pitch, effectively. One's on the wrong side. He's got to get him in, back into play and get these guys out and somehow mount some kind of defence. He probably only got one reroll for defense now as well, because he'll probably want to keep one for the one turner. It's pretty disastrous, yeah. It is pretty, pretty disastrous for Ducky. Yep, yeah, that's got to be making tons of dodges. Yeah. Better sack, but he ain't got he ain't got strip, has he? Um, and it's not really like it would. It's not really like because he would have to. He'd have to put a guy in here. And a guy in here, leap one dice, push him to there. It's going to be in tackle zones wherever it goes. And yeah, the sacking without strip is way harder, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ducky didn't learn anything about not losing play. To be fair, the uh, the un the uh, dwarfs didn't have any mighty blow. And the undead have two mighty blow. So, and the dwarfs never fouled. And the, the undead have fouled a couple of, like... I think Undead are a very dangerous team for just randomly getting some removals, aren't they? Very dangerous. Like they're, they're, it's, what, it's what makes, part of what makes Undead one of the two best tabletop teams with Wood Elves. They, you know, they've got the Strength 5 Mighty Bull guys that don't have Lona. They, can, they get to make a fair amount of blocks with them. In this format, they get to get block on them both. Or maybe guard on ghouls, but you know if they want block on both, they can get block on both eventually. So it, it's not it's not a terrible format for undead. I just think it's a poor format, but they're still they're still a decent choice. But I just think it is a poor format for them. Uh, in kind of the same way as dark elves, dark elves are still a great choice. Um, it just could be a better format for dark elves. I did necropotence. It was a it was a fifteen thirty UTC. And uh, I got a riot, which was decisive, basically. Oh wow! There you go. I back. Yeah, I pick. I picked both lizards to win in, in round one. Uh, I think there were three lizardmen teams in the tournament. I picked them all to win the first game. Yeah, you know, he's still getting in the way as best he can with with like zero players. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got five players and a rooted guy, and the rooted guy's still relevant. And he, you know, he's making a formation of some variety. You know, this this knockdown was good. I did indeed. Thank you, Necropons, and everybody else. I'm sorry. I'm sure I skipped a lot of people saying congrats and stuff. Um, but you know, I was I've been really focused on the game and that. Um, and thanks for all the bits as well. There were loads of bits as well, wasn't there? Whew. Wow, Vela Hoppy won the up. Yeah, exactly. It'd be, uh, it's it's never over. Like you know, even now, even now is is like this has gone about. I, I didn't have a shit. You're a good standing guy. You're a good standing guy of EZL, but no, it, it's not that. I just think, you know, I think it's better to hear my thoughts on it, isn't it? That's what I've done in all the Champs Ladder playoffs and stuff. Um, it was decisive, though, wasn't it? I mean, it was decisive. The one turn could have succeeded, but the riot, the riot, you know, made it a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, it made it a lot easier. 
the the riot the riot score was way easier than the one turn, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I would have scored the, the the one turn. Maybe I would have scored the one turn, but um, but the riot certainly was was way made it way 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 easier. <laughs> On turn eight, it can only go down or to run because it, it was my turn eight, so it could only have given me an extra turn. Um, two pushes, a handoff in a tackle zone, and then something like a four plus through tackle, three plus through tackle, and then two plus no tackle and three GFLs. Let's have a, let's have a look. I can I can I can uh, in this crucial point in in time in this match, I will self indulge self indulgently. Check my odds of scoring a one turn. <laughs> um, about 14% to score the one turn, give or take. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's made the sideline-ish cage here, hasn't he? And, uh, you know, he really had no choice. If he'd stayed further back, he would have had to do some kind of Larry push forward. And he gets to foul the leader, which is good, isn't it? It's a gym foul. <laughs> Double one. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So now, if you're ducky, do you go for this one dice? Or do you just blitz this guy and play it safe? Maybe you blitz this guy and play it. I think ducky is. Ducky is quite a conservative player overall. I think he will just blitz this guy and keep it safe. Don't know though. I'd just surf. Oh, you could surf. Yeah. Oh, duh. Duh, you can just surf. Oh, you'll just surf then. Don't mind me. I'm a bit slow. I'm still thinking about my match. Um, yeah, maybe, so. maybe he would have played it. Maybe he would have played it a bit differently. Rogue shenanigans. Maybe he would have played it differently. Yeah, I did outbash him. <laughs> I did outbash him. That, the fact that I outbashed him... Yeah, I guess I would have made a lot of different plays. It, it, he would have probably tried to make, tried to drain my re-rolls more than he did. You know, if he, if it was going to overtime. So it's hard to say, but anyway, what happened, happened, didn't it? Um... GFI could go, he'd only give Ducky two turns to score with Woody's, but yeah, he has Kaz two of his own guys here. This is the thing, you know, he's carried on fouling, and I don't think he should have done. I really don't think he should have done. He did that first foul, and he's carried on fouling, and he's got another guy sent off. Now, as it happened, I didn't hate that, because it did get him for, further forward, but it was a two-player swing, wasn't it? Failing, uh, failing to break AV, got his guy surfed, and got him sent off. So that was a really huge swing, you know. Maybe he sh it looks like he can transition over here, doesn't it? Somewhat. Um, so maybe maybe Ducky overcommitted a little bit there with these four here. Um, but yeah, he should be able to get into position to score. But that's that's really costly. He's got ten men max for the rest of the match. Now Ducky's got ten men max for the rest of the match as well, but Ducky's fucking Wood Elves. <laughs> so Yeah, yes, Philip Proctor, yeah, I played I played my game and I managed to win two one against the uh, against the dwarves. So very scary match, but good. Going without block there. Um, obviously he wants to move the tackler further, which is why he didn't do with the block. I mean, he wasn't just being greedy trying to get a mighty blow hit. It was so that this guy could get further to protect the ball. Yeah, 
Yeah, of course, Ducky's up three three KOs may not recover, and in fact, Knee Proxy's one KO may not recover. But yeah, that's that's the problem with Fowling, isn't it? You don't want to be men down against against Woodies. Do you maybe sacrifice the mummy in here? I think you do. Oh, there's a chance to surf him. I think you uh, you take that chance in an effort to apply tackle zones. With dice, this is a uh, with dice, this is a two dice on the ball if he wants it, isn't it? Just goes for the one dice. That which is the correct play, I believe. I believe it's statistically the, cor the correct play to go for the one dice. But I would have maybe wanted to get the assist in. Uh, you know, three plus to get the assist in. And then... Uh, but he wants to he wants to save the reroll for all the time, but still. I don't, I don't think he could retrieve any. Like, the odds of him retrieving, I think, were pretty low. Um, you know, a lot of the scatters make it hard for him to get in and get the ball away. Whereas having the guy in there makes it harder for knee proxy to clear and get the ball back and picked up and scored. So I think he was, you know, it's, it is what it is. I'm not saying he's wrong. I just think maybe that was a bit asking a bit much to get the uh, to get the recovery there as well. Three dice to get him away. And and he gets a mighty blow hit on old dancer. Which is pretty good, isn't it? That's true, Mipper, but that doesn't make it wrong, does it? You know? <laughs> like maybe having that guy there is better, you know? So it's, you know, it's. Uh... Oh god. KO. Huge clench. Some really good removals for knee proxy, but then also some <laughs> costly fouling as well. So like he paid for the removals really with a with these. He is going to go for the blocks now, isn't he? With a reroll, um, three dice there and two dice there. I would imagine he's got a blitz. He's got a blitz, hasn't he? So he's got three dice with mighty blow, and then three dice as well. So. Or maybe he's already blitzed. No. Wouldn't he have blitzed? He must have blitzed there because wouldn't you make a three dice mighty blow blitz? Sacrificing the live chicken, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he was just doing a little happy dance, or maybe maybe he was swearing at the computer saying like have that you cunt or something, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Would it? Couldn't he have hit Blitz from a different angle? I don't know, I wasn't out. I don't know. Right, so what's this? Three, six, nine, ten. You're just going to backline it. <laughs> exactly, it's all for the anarchist. <laughs> Not with me, he couldn't. No, well, fair enough. I thought he could. Looks like he is. It looks like he is going to backline it, which is pretty bad. Hard with ten players to defend against a one turn, but this is this is pretty bad. All right, fair enough, Wolfpack. Fair. Enough. Fair enough. I just thought I just thought he could, and I don't mind admitting I'm wrong. <laughs> Despite not knowing the truth, if you say it, that's good enough for me. He shouldn't have this ghoul on the LOS, should he? But then there's no one else. Really don't like... Really don't like having him there. He's going to get hit by three dice by Mighty Blow if, if he doesn't go for the one-turner. Um, but yeah, he should have really not had the second zombie sent off. <laughs> this is a... 
Really strong chance for Ducky now to one turn. Really strong chance. Yeah, backlining is horrible. Yeah. Yeah, Miffa says it was. He didn't make it. He didn't make the three dice block. You thought he couldn't do it. Miffa thought he couldn't. I thought he could, so I guess. I guess he couldn't, you know. Yeah, that is a. Uh, I mean, Ducky's only got eight players, so it's not easy, but still, that seems a bit crazy, doesn't it? Because he could have done something to stop Ducky getting the pushes, you know, some some kind of, some kind of, like, you know, um, guard players here and other players, or, or, you know, some kind of formation to do anything. I like the offset columns. He is down a player, so it's not it's not obvious how what he should do. But maybe something to make the pushes harder. for Ducky <laughs> that doesn't change anything <laughs> wow wow that was an incredibly lucky pitch invasion that it didn't ruin it for him because that pitch invasion could have obviously could have knocked down one of the back line to make it a lot easier for him oh three dice with a tree all down <laughs> So yeah, he could have had a not, he could have had one of the back line drop, but he could have also had one of the guys that he needed to activate drop, and he could have also had w one of the guys he needed to hit drop. So, um, yeah, fair enough. Right, it's the safe choice. It's it's the safe choice if you can't think of something better. But I think in three minutes he should have at least he should have at least used his entire three minutes to try to think of something better than just backlining it, you know? Um, yeah, exactly, backlining is minimal, guys. I think you should have at least thought about it for three minutes. Uh, even, you know, by all means, set them up backline, but then think about it for three minutes, you know? Um, yeah, Jim Tree's been shit for both of us. Wow, Dancer stays out, so nine versus 10. And obviously, Ducky's one of Ducky's best players. In fact, well, on offense, it's his best player because the strip is not. All <laughs> you don't want the strip to be the strip to be usable on offense. So um, yeah, basically, his best player on offense is is off, and the catcher. He did, he did have a player. He was a player down, though, Tran. Um, he wa he was a player down, so it was it's tough. It's tough to know exactly what he's going against. You know, it's tough to deal with it. Where to put your mummies? Which which things to do? And that it would be tricky. But um, I don't think the back line is a decent defense, really. Obviously, he thought it was good enough, so he went for it. I mean. I just, in my opinion, it's not. <laughs> I would not go for a saucy one turn. I wouldn't go. I would be trying to get it to overtime. Um, he, he had, he couldn't Guinness because he was down to 10 players. So. But yeah, it was the dodges. The, the point is he could have made the dodges harder and he could have made the pushes harder. So, generally... <laughs> generally, uh, yeah, the GFIs are there no matter what the defense is, exactly, yeah. It, it's could he have made the pushes harder, and could he have made the dodges harder, could he have made the getting the ball harder. You know, there's, there's all sorts of things that you've got to figure out, and, and I think the back line, I don't like it, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. But yeah, I don't like the backline play. Even with ten players, I would have, I would have maybe tried to do something with ten players that wasn't the backline. At least think about it. At least use all three minutes thinking about it. I don't think it was there was an obvious defense because he's only got ten players. 
Um, I think there is an obvious... You should think of an obvious defence for when you have 11 players. And I think it probably shouldn't have been a back line if you've got 11 players. But, um, yeah, you know, it's hard to say he's just wrong for back lining. Could have made a rock hard. <laughs> hello, hello, FT just. Well, I mean, he's got a tree, hasn't he? So, yeah, make the tree do the blitz. You know, he could just literally have had two, two mummies on the LOS, couldn't he? And then he's got to make a tree block or a tree, a tree block on two dice or a tree blitz to get it started. So that that's good. It can be our Yeti, but it's tricky to set up. Tricky to set up. Yeah, the back line's fine against ladder, you know, because the the the, the one turn def the one chance the one turn chance is low, even if. Even if, you know, he didn't set up at all, he's still got to make the pushes and, and make the throw, pa pick up the pass, the catch, or the, or the pick up and the handoff. And he's got to get the pushes, and he's got to make the GFIs. So even without anything, you know, the back line isn't a bad defence, it's just that it could be better, isn't it? That's the thing. So so for, um, so for Ladder, it's fine to back line it because... You know, the, the the saving the blocks is going to be as worth it in in the yeah exactly exactly what back yeah 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 it's it's a fine default, but really I think against Ducky in the World Cup, even men down, you should be at least use all of your time to try to think of something better, even if you're not gonna even if you're not gonna do it. But he was like, yep, yeah, that's good, and ended his end of his turn, didn't he? It's coming home. <laughs> yeah. I like the sandwich with the strength five here, but one of them is dodge anyway, so. But you know, this, this guy's got three plus two plus out without dodge, hasn't he? Like, I don't think there's any point trying to limit where the catchers can go, just because they've got the, cat, they've got the dodge, haven't they? So. There's three. Who, who was out? Just a lineman, wasn't it? There's three cats. He's got three mobile players. And then four with a woody. Uh, with a woody with a dancer. So what Ducky's got to try to do is, is free up his non-dodge guys. And one way of doing that is with a three dice block. <laughs> Fash would probably go nuts with, over a first action loner. But I think it was the right play. Tree rooted turn one and turn ten. <laughs> I did Johanian, yeah. Two one in the end. Yeah, two one in normal time. Yeah. That was a good call. That was a good call that wasn't it? First action loner. Well. Um, thanks, Johinian. The thing is, Ducky might go for the score here, mightn't he? Um, he's still got his two re-rolls. He gets the chance of getting the Dancer back. It's not going to be easy for him to stall it out. And it gets the tree unrooted as well. Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, no, it was a 1 in 9 in, in, in mine, Rogue Shannigans. Mine was just a 1 in 9. But yeah, his was a 1 in 27 with a loner fail. So his was a 1 in 54, almost. His was almost a 1 in 54. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you know, I think he's, I think he's not going not gonna to mind scoring early, for sure. I think normally he wouldn't do this because it, it, it pressures Ducky to not score before... This doing this play basically 
me is going to make it very hard for Ducky to stall to turn 16. Um, provided knee proxy plays correctly, which you would assume he would. Um, you can actually chain his mummy into an additional block here, can't you? Um, assuming knee proxy plays it correctly, which obviously you have to assume that because he's one of the top 12 players on Blood Bowl 2 by Champs Ladder win, win percentage. Um, it's going to make it hard for Ducky to stall out the half. So, so just going for this move is basically an acceptance of not stalling out the half. But, you know, maybe he can stall it out, but it's going to be very hard, I think, for him to stall it out now. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that from Knee Proxy. Really don't like that. I would have 100% moved that zombie in and then chained my mummy in an additional block there, for sure. 100%. Yeah, don't worry, Ducky, don't worry. Better in tactics, what did I say about that? Did I say that? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, oh, NA is superior in tactics, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was a really nice chain, wasn't it? <laughs> You shouldn't agree with me rarely, you should agree with me often if, you, if, you, if you're good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Jimmy is always right. <laughs> he has based the ball. <laughs> that is simply not true. The does not support your I mean, you just get to move the, the zombie to here now, which is actually a pretty good spot for the zombie. But I would have still done the chain. I was moving the ghoul to that square. How to move the zombie there? I don't know where the zombie goes now. Here, maybe? Or a GFI or two? Or just, oh, yeah, two GFIs. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, you just can't try and take it easy, Ducky. <laughs> Maybe stay away from chat like me. <laughs> Maybe just yell cunt once in a while and <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Did you see what Trump said the other day? He said, "I said, I said wooden. I meant to say wood. <laughs> I, just, I just said completely the opposite of what I meant to say. Honest. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh well. Do what you need to do then, Ducky. Do what you need to do, but get your head in the game. <laughs> All right." Unfortunate that, isn't it? That's, uh, is that three wake-ups or two wake-ups? Three wake-up fails for this, for this dancer. Is that three? Three wake-up fails. Um, but there, there were four KOs. So one not waking up isn't crazy. It's just proper unlucky that it's the fucking tackle dancer. <laughs> So, I mean, it is undoubtedly lucky that it's the war dancer. Failing one out of four guys isn't crazy, really, is it? He had four guys. One of them failing three isn't crazy. But, yeah, being the dancer is really hard, really hard. This could be a 2-1 grind for knee proxy. He's got more re-rolls. He's got more players. Um... Oh, my God, trees! Why are trees being so bad? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Why are the trees so bad, though? Now he gets to put the guard in and three dice them both. Um, three words. Shut up, cunt. <laughs> Hello, Crystal Hunter. Wow, tree's been pretty much MVP, hasn't it, for for knee proxy? Oh, he hasn't been that way. I would have put the I would have put the guard in there, wouldn't you? And then. There, there, and then get two, three dices. I think that was the play. 
That was, that was the play as far as I'm concerned. Because you can move him away the next turn. He's still got strip versus show hands. Yeah, if, if any... Like, he's only down one player. It's not crazy. It's not like... It's not lost or anything. It's not desperation. It's it's uncomfortable for Ducky, of course. Of course, it's 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 not nice for Ducky. It's not it's not a good spot to be in. Um, anybody would rather be knee proxy in this situation, but it's certainly not over, like it would be if it was say a dwarf that were a man down and the best player missing and stuff like this. That does seem dodgy, doesn't it? I would have, I would have really put the guard in the middle there. Really don't like this play there. Two dice in them and no. Not following with the mummy. I mean this tree isn't standing up next turn. I don't know. Yeah, tree being a fifty percent stand up is a is a disaster, yeah. Yeah. That is brutal. That's true. Yeah, it's hard not to hit the tree when you've got a thrown rock. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ducky should score on it quickly now to reset the tree. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the throw rock will never change. That's true, and it's uh, it is a shame, isn't it, when. Because, you know, Blood Bowl's almost a very competitive game. And stuff like Throne Rocks doing this really does really does hurt the kind of competitiveness aspect of, of uh, I mean, you said 40k, of Blood Bowl, doesn't it? But it adds to the whimsy. And uh, <laughs> we all like the whimsy of Blood Bowl, don't we? <laughs> we all like the fucking whimsy. But, you know, it does it make memorable... And, uh, oh shit! I'm just <laughs> we all sorry like about that. Um, you know, to be fair, it makes memorable moments. You know, and and at the end of the day, it's 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 hard to you can't say it's wrong because the point of Blood Bowl is not to be a competitive game, but to be a fun game. And you know, you do kind of remember those kind of things. Like I I I always remember Best for Gore getting cast. From the rock in that game, um, in that game against uh, Price, and you know if the, if that hadn't happened, it wouldn't have been as memorable, would it? So yeah, they're fun for spectators. Yeah, <laughs> the ball fails at being fun. Too. <laughs> but do you know what I mean, though. It's like it's it exists to to sell board games and sell computer games, and and therefore being fun. And people wanting to play it are the objectives, not it being 100% competitive or anything, is it? <laughs> a lot of price, yeah. You know? But it, it's certain... <laughs> oh dear, try. Yeah. Um, but maybe it does for some people, doesn't it? You know, Grindle? So you, you can't just... You can't just call the non-competitive crowd or the whimsical crowd or... Or whatever, you can't just call them wrong, can you? Um, he wants to get the fuck away from the tree, I think. But he's got to be wary of the dancer at all times, hasn't he? Uh, I think he'll want to reconnect the guard with the ball carrier, for sure. And, uh, yeah, try to get the fuck away from the tree. Would be, would be my plan. <laughs> <laughs> you would see, definitely. Oh, man. Yeah, it is like, yeah, that's the thing, you know. Like I've, I've uh, obviously look. It's Blood Bowl. There's <laughs> the whimsical crowd. Like you know, it, it's the sort of thing that comes up in every Blood Bowl stream every <laughs> every day. We go over the same things, but um, <laughs> but yeah, it's ne it's nearly very competitive Blood Bowl, isn't it? And. You know, maybe it'd be good if there were two rule sets. You know, if like Cyanide have tried to be fair, they've got the option of, of to turn off kickoff events. So you know that they've really kind of tried to do that in a way to have the kind of you know you could have maybe you could have like a base game and a competitive rule set or something. But um, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true, Rob Alide. That <laughs> it's you've got away with words, but it's pretty true, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Blood Bowl's a very harsh, harsh game. The first, the first few times you play it. Oh God, it is a dead. There's a dead elf, and particularly in tabletop. Particularly in tabletop. Um, particularly in tabletop. The the gap keep, keeps getting bigger, right? Because if you've got a new player, um, if you've got a new player, they're going to pick worse skills. They're going to get less star player points. They're going to win less. And um, for fuck's sake, Tony, stop being shit. I think he probably means other tabletop games that aren't chess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you know like that's the thing isn't it the, with the, the progression aspect kind of exacerbates the problem that new players have it's the same with Necromunda you know um, it it kind of yeah exactly it, it does it, it does feel like missing something not having them that's, that's what I mean to, to be fair to Cyanide they tried to do that um, I wouldn't want to turn them off. I would want to turn them. I would want to turn them down rather than turn them off. The problem is, I wouldn't trust anyone except myself to write the rules for it. Yeah, they do add suspense and everything. Yeah, you know, there's 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 definitely pluses for them. I think I think a lot of people would like them to be t t tuned down. You know, turned down, dialed down a little bit. But I, yeah, I, I've never used. I've never wanted to use the rules to not have them. Wow, Ducky's gone balls to the wall now. He realises that this is pretty desperate, or he thinks it's pretty desperate, whichever way you want to look at it. And he's clearing out the the path for the dancer to leap in. Because if he hits from here, it's a one dice, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. Very grim. Ducky has decided it's do or die at this point, hasn't he? Probably die. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or maybe it's a little bit differently. Yeah, just one dodge. Oh man, he makes the leap. He gets the he gets the strip. <laughs> oh man. And there's a guy who can almost get to it if he was another war dancer. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't have dodge and he stuns himself Dancer gets surfed and it's bad times you have to go for the surf here don't you there's not there's not any choice here at all. He has to go for the sir. I don't care if it makes it a little bit close, only having three more turns to score 100%. No one on earth doesn't go for this sir right now. <laughs> yeah, Marzum, yeah. Yeah. It's not it's not horrible dice, I don't think, for the, the dodges and everything. It's just been it's just been good good Kaz dice for a uh, knee proxy, hasn't it? Bad KO roll. Uh bad dice on the one turn. Yeah, B's off. And uh now that's pretty much it, isn't it, really? I would go for it. I didn't say I'd get it. I didn't say I would get the surf, but I would certainly go for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it's not been, it's not been horrific. You know, it's not been horrific. Three cars against against two mighty blow who've been getting three dices in. Um, the 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 dancer staying out was unlucky. The triple down on the one turn was unlucky. A one in fifty four block, wasn't it? Um, 
And he's still he's still only got three turns now. So but Ducky's got so few players it's gonna be very tough. Tree could base the ball here. <laughs> the tree's been terrible, yeah. The tree the tree's been terrible. But now it's his moment to shine. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Ducky could go for a one dice and well, needing a six plus isn't good. You know, Ducky could still maybe get it to overtime here, and if he gets it to overtime, you know, and these two come back, he's got nine players he can win. So, you know, he's, he shouldn't give up here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, try. You know, if, he, if he'd been playing against a worse coach, maybe he would have done something. Um, you know, maybe you could have pulled something out of the bag. Um, but... It's definitely been solid from me, Proxy, hasn't it? The tree, the tree has been, the tree has been really unlucky. There's no doubt about how unlucky the tree has been. Uh, the tree's been the, 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 you know, very unlucky. He's gone for the tree blitz. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. He would, he would. I'm sure Ducky would have, would have. I'm sure I didn't influence it, but you know, I'm sure I didn't influence it, but. I like the surf was the surf was obviously gonna go for the surf, wasn't it? Um If anything I actually actually don't like basing with him as well, because it does give him the uh, chain out, doesn't it? Which he wouldn't have had the option against just the tree. You can chain him out and then do things. And, and this is the problem with saying things, isn't it? This is the problem with saying things because the, the surf was super obvious. There's no way I influenced uh, any proxy by saying that. But, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Ducky just went, you know, they've gone for that. You know, not because I said it, but you just never know, do you? You never know if, if, if they wouldn't have spotted it if you hadn't said it, you know, you just don't know. It's a bit tough, isn't it? For, a bit tough for the casting and that thing. Yeah, you can blitz the elf for the, for the chain. Yeah, yeah, chain the ghoul away. Yeah. And, uh... And I'm surprised he just based with the with the mummies because I would have used them to make a cage personally um, I would have used at least one of them to make a cage maybe he is, maybe he's going to use this one but it's going to be a struggle to get the other guys back now to make a cage <laughs> yeah that's true try yeah. yeah it does make you wonder how many people are going to have like a team point in that place I would just personally feel bad if, if anything I did influence things, but he's he doesn't have to even cross halfway line this this turn because he's it's only thirteen to score, so he's only got to get to here. But um, yeah, I, I I think I would have used these two tree uh, these two mummies as the cage corners, you know, and uh, this you can go this way, can't you? Two dice block there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you know, like caged up over here or something, um, is what I would have done. But I guess he's moving the other side somehow. Wow, the hobby's match is one one and he's, but he's got the chance to win. Well I mean that's the like even if even if you're a good coach and things go well, you're gonna have to roll dice to win, aren't you? Like, you know, I got that right, but I still had to score in two turns, didn't I? Um and obviously it was against dwarves and he'd he committed and I rolled lots of two pluses, but still. Uh, that is a good. That's a good situation having three turns to win, uh, but it's still dice rolls, isn't there? Involved. Um, I won G H Smithy. Yeah, I won two one. Uh, he grinded me out in the first half, um, and then I got a riot to equalise one one, and then I stalled him out for the two one win in the, in the second half. 11 versus 7, oh wow. 
That's looking pretty good then, Try. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. This is a very, very low chance of 2D on the ball, but... I guess why not? Go for it. It's coming home still, yeah. For now, it's coming home. Ducky is losing horribly single. Um, <laughs> I wasn't actually watching your match. No, no, I was waiting for the Ducky match to start. Uh, there was another... Uh, Vela match was on in the meantime as well. Ducky is in, is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. It's like... Uh, is, is it... I did, yeah. The... Ducky now is like Killian at the end of uh, at the end of the Running Man, a knee proxy <laughs> has grabbed hold of him and says, "One of us is in big trouble." <laughs> yeah. I don't even know the name of Arnold's character in that, but I remember it vividly. Just a push uphill. Nearly got the double powers. Nearly was halfway. Halfway to get the double powers he needed. Uh, Sage plays on Saturday, I believe. G hit Smithy. Um, uh, 13.30 UTC, I believe. <laughs> He's got good quotes, hasn't he, Arnie? I think Sage could very well lose his match. Yeah. I mean, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have lost my match. Um. Yeah, look, Ducky could still Ducky could still make it over time. Um. Obviously. Uh, knee proxy is going to look for a chain out, but then can he can he get guys back to protect as well? Not easily. Yeah, he's still got a chain because he's got the uh, he's got the mummy hit. He, the last thing he wants is to rely on a one in nine, isn't it? You know, Ducky could still could, Ducky could still get it to overtime, but he is in very bad shape. Ben Richards, thanks. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Dougie, I was a genius all along. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm gonna break your goddamn spine! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Spartaco lost. He was the first game of the World Cup and he lost to Noamto. <laughs> no, playing with you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, Spartaco. I think Spartaco's was a dicing. Um, I think Ducky has had particularly rough dice with a tree. Not, not even, you've got to say, not even that much above attrition, really. He's taken three cars slightly above attrition. Uh, the big thing was being unlucky with his, his ward answer, staying out from the KO. Um, so it's slightly above average attrition. But you know, just knee proxies played very solidly, and uh, and that, that. Oh wow, he's double one. <laughs> he's double. He should have made this block first, shouldn't he? Shouldn't he have made this block first to try to pound to get him there without running any dice? So that's a bit of a mistake there, I think, from knee proxy. Shouldn't he have gone for this block? Maybe get the power. I think he should have done. 
I think that was a mistake there. <laughs> oh god, Ducky rolls a one. <laughs> oh well. Well, there you go. <sighs> and and look, really, that that's it. Doesn't need to be a Dyson. Um, it doesn't need to be a wholly one-sided dicing, does it? Um, for the dice to be, yeah, particularly the tree was particularly terrible, um, and that was the biggest thing because the rooting it tempted him to score for like it was a culmination of things, wasn't it? It wasn't like that. It wasn't like it was ridiculous dice. It wasn't. It wasn't a ridiculous dicing. Nobody could have, on earth could have won that game, but it was it was kind of like the crucial points were kind of all in favour of knee proxy really, and he was unlucky on really bad moments and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, you know he got heavily out, heavily out blocked, so getting out bashed isn't isn't surprising. And um, yeah, the dodge is seventy seven percent. You know, lower than you would like. The leaps were good though, <laughs> and uh, the take routes were terrible. And the loner, you know, on another day, that the the tree was really what cost him. GFIs weren't good, but then that was one was a double one, so the rest were all right. Um, you know, ultimately, average dice for the block dice. A weird game for Ducky. <laughs> well, it didn't really. I didn't really notice how how few powers he got. Isn't that crazy? Eight, seventeen, twenty-one, eight. That's really weird. But um, yeah, look, w when you've got two coaches of that quality, it doesn't need to be a brutal dicing, does it? You know, it, it, the, it's going to come down to the kind of crucial, the crucial moments and uh, unlucky for Ducky. But there you go. You know, you can't say that. Knee proxy didn't deserve it, you know. It just, just the dice just fell in his favour enough for him to win, and uh, that's no mean feat, you know. Plenty of people could get those dice against Ducky and and lose, so I uh, plenty of people could. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.